da 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 Welcome to Sit Action News, and we're coming to you live from FHS. I'm Hingle McCringleberry, and I'm TJ Jackson. Recently, we've come into contact with a program called FEA, Future Educators Association. That's right, Hingle. Through a passion to teach, FEA has been molding the young minds of today. So instead of sitting around doing lazy things such as playing on Twitter and searching things on Instagram, they've been becoming educators and actually trying to change their community for the better. We actually have correspondents in the field as of now who are interviewing those affiliated through and with FEA. Let's go as correspondents now. Hi, I'm Catherine White and I'm here with Mr. Massey from FHS. How do you feel you have a passion to teach? Uh, there's something about uh, helping young minds make decisions that uh, will affect their entire life. This interview, welcome now back, back to the web. Hello, welcome back to Sit Action News. This is Ibrahim Moises. I'm here with Blaze Kissel, and we are going to do a little bit of an interview today for him. Why should others get involved with uh, FEA? Well, FEA is a organization to help let future educators reach their goals in life, to become good future educators, give them opportunities in their and uh, environment, their community, their schools to promote education as a whole. And one last question, uh, how did you find out about FEA? Well, at my school there was a, a teacher academy course and this teacher academy course handed out a survey to some of the students asking if they were at all interested in teaching in general and I was so I obviously answered yes and they uh, kept me informed on their events, uh, what they were doing, they invited me to socials so I got to m know more about the Teacher Academy program, and since it is related to FEA, and the two are pretty much combined at our school, I got to be more involved in FEA. Okay, thank you, Blaze, and uh, back to you guys in the newsroom. Hello, this is Des Moines Shower Handle coming to you live from Fairfield High School. We have some breaking traffic news for you guys. There are some spilled papers in the 22 hallway right next to the Teacher Academy room, so watch out for that B5 violation because we want our hallways to be safe. Back to you in the newsroom. Hi, Tom Bronson here with uh, Mr. Claver from FHS here to interview him about FEA. And uh, would you recommend FEA to others? Oh, of course. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. it uh, like I said, it's, it's good to put on a resume, it's good to get that kind of experience, and it's anytime you can, uh, uh, like I said, engage with other teachers and you know, network. I think it's uh, a wonderful thing. So, awesome. All right, well, thank you, Mr. Claver. Uh, this is again Tom Bronson coming to you live from FHS. Uh, back to you guys in the newsroom. Hey, everyone, it's Hingle Kruger, and we have some breaking sports news here. Fairfield Teacher Academy and Lakota Teacher Academy are going to go head to head in a primetime matchup you won't want to miss. Now, you guys won't gonna miss this because we're gonna have impromptu speaking, lesson planning, as long as a, a bunch of athletic events such as dodgeball and ultimate football. Boys and girls, you won't wanna miss this matchup. And that's your sports news, ladies and gentlemen. Back to the newsroom. Thank you for tuning in to Sit Action News, coming to you live from FHS. I'm Neil McCreegoberry, and I'm TJ Jackson. I'm the boy in And I'm Catherine White. And once again, through FEA and with a passion to teach, you too can change the community for the better. Visit us at Room 2206. And follow us on Instagram at FHS Teacher Academy. And sign up with your guidance counselor today to join Teacher Academy. And we want you to have a passion to teach!